This is the 110 charging port, as you see. It has a regular 110 adapter you plug into any wall uh, plug-in, and then you have the charging station adapter here. And you just put it in, snap it in, and it's set. Uh, as I said earlier, it'll take approximately 10 hours to fully charge with the 110, or if you have the 240 charging station, it'll take about four hours have approximately 17 miles left to go on the battery charge and it shows that it's just over half as far as the the, um, the battery charge it shows me my fuel tank right there um, let's see here it's of course it reads everything checks everything makes sure that the vehicle is safe to operate and, my tire pressure is okay, fuel, I mean, I'm sorry, the oil, um, uh, the different pages that are in, in the vehicle. The, if there was any messages, it would tell me that. And then, of course, the odometer. And then the miles per, per hour, it's ready. All that information is also available over here under the energy. So whatever you do here, you can take care of over here. We have a full screen of different things in the vehicle that we can do. We go to the climate power as we can adjust our temperature. It is a touch screen. You can do it just by touching the screen. So you've got the hard contact um, controls and you've got the touch screen so whatever makes you more comfortable uh, you can do either one or you can do even a combination of them I called it a computer because basically it's exactly what it is you can go in and you can configure the the vehicle you can set up languages of course your time and date um, if we go to let's change to XM and um, let's find something a little less the blend if you go into the charging mode when we, uh, like I showed you earlier if we plug in the the uh, the adapter to charge it it'll go into the charging mode then we can go to the energy information and it tells us that right now we're getting an average of 250 miles per gallon because we use the vehicle very little right now and it's mostly just electric. My backup camera comes up so that I can back up and confidently know that there's nothing behind me. As I get closer to something it starts to beep the closer I get to it the louder as we take off there's no engine noise you hear the tires running on the road and that's it